what I want to do is to have three tables in my access database. I want a customer table, I want a stock table and in order to relate the customer table with the stock table I need an order table. Let's think about that. Customers, there are the customers, there's the design, customer ID, customer name, auto number, auto text. Customers, Alan, Brian, Charles, David, they order stock. Stock ID, product num name, product price basically, unit price. If I look at it, stock ID 1234, four items, gold watch, silver watch, etc. And there's the price. OK, so that's straightforward enough. Now, customers make an order for stock. So let's have a look at the order table and look at it in design. OK, the order number is quite straightforward. What are they ordering? They're ordering stock from the stock table. But you can only have one auto number. So stock ID will refer to gold watch, silver watch, etc. And so I have a stock number there. Number of items ordered, that's obviously a number. Customer ID D refers to those four customers. A Mr. Allen, Mr. Brian, Mr. Charlie, Mr. David. Yes? OK, so if I look at this, what I end up with when I look in, in there is the order number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. What have they ordered? A stock items. 1. I only have 4 stock items, so they can only order those. Numbers. Well, they can have any number of, of gold watches. 4 gold watches, 8 silver watches. And which customer is it? Customer 1. Customer two all right so if I look at that save that and then close that all right so I've worked out my three tables now I need to go into queries queries are asking questions okay so if I look at this query that I've already done, if I click onto there and go into design, you can see that I have a customer table, I have a stock table, I mean they could be round the other way but it doesn't matter, right, so a customer table, a customer table, a stock table and there is my customer my order table okay now this shows customer ID in customer table and customer name in order for the customer table to relate to the stock table then I need some sort of relationship between these three. Let's have a look at that. You see in the order table I have order ID but I also have customer ID so I can make a relationship between customer ID there and customer ID there. I can relate between stock ID here and stock ID here. So now I can make a relationship between the customer name the number of items ordered and the product name and the unit price. What I'm going to do is to close this and then I'm going to create a new query so that you can see how I do it. 
new. I'm going to do it in design view and it says alright. Now add that, so I double click and add that. Add that, I double click and add that. And add that, I double click and add that. Okay, now I'll close this. Now just in case these relationships were not there, then what I would do is to go into Tools and Relationships. Now imagine if I delete that. Yes, I'll delete that. And I delete that. Yes, I'll delete that. Okay, now this is what you need to do. You need to say this. Customer ID here relates to customer ID there. And what you want to do is to enforce referential integrity there. So that if there are four customers in this table, in the customer table, then there must only be four customers in the order table. If you have five, it won't work in there. If you don't have five in here. OK, let's create that. And you see that. There's the relationship. Let's look here. Take the stock ID there and click it with the stock ID there. Enforce referential integrity. In other words, if there are only four items in the stock table, then you can only have four items in the order table. You can have lots of those four, but you can only have those four items. Create that and you've got that. Alright, so I'll save that. And now I'll close this. OK. Now, let's start off with our order number. When I double click it comes up here. What I want is who's making the order? Well there's the customer name. What are they ordering? Well I'm going to click on to here the product name. Okay. How many do they want? I've got the product name. What's the product price? Now I'll take the number ordered. That's it. And then I'll take the price of each and put that. Now if I run that, that's what I get. Order number one, that's customer Alan Amos, ordered a gold watch, actually he ordered four of them, and the unit price was £80. Now I can get it so that I can work out a price for that. Really? Let me move this along here. And down here, I'll write here. Calculate. Uh, ouch. Calculate. Actually, I'll put calculate. Colon. Square bracket. I want. Mm. What I need to do is to put two square brackets. times square bracket square bracket. Now it won't muck me about and it'll allow me to put the thing inside. What I want is that copy that go into there and paste that. Now I want to copy that move along here click onto there and paste that. OK, now when I run that again, it'll calculate that times that. Now you can see what I did on that when I go into design. I put calculate, colon, square bracket, and copied that. Close square bracket, open square bracket, copied that, close square bracket, and that worked it out. OK, 
that is how you work out relationships in access queries and through that are able to do calculations. Save it. This is query to calculating watch sales prices. Okay.